YouTube, this is Fern Bark. My uh, neighbor finally stopped mowing long enough for me to film this video about me running an air compressor. Ironic, I know. Anyhow, this is the Husky 30 gallon uh, dual piston portable air compressor. It went portable at 147 pounds. Uh, it's, that, it's, it's heavy, you know it's heavy right away when you, when you try to pick it up. Uh, but it's got wheels and handles and it's actually really pretty simple to move. Uh, this guy's got a, as mentioned, double piston air compressor. It's got a beefy 15 amp motor. It's right here with the cord going up to the ceiling right now because this is the spot in the garage where I have a 20 amp outlet. And uh, some of the reviews complain that the unit doesn't function or it'll, it'll trip a breaker if you got it plugged into like a regular wall outlet. And the problem is, if you don't have a designated circuit, and this thing pulls 15 amps and you got something else running while well, it's you know going to trip a circuit so you're gonna have to be kind of careful with one of these guys uh, when you plug it in because it's going to use all the 15 amps okay. all right the major complaint with this unit is that the uh, air release valve is really difficult to get to and it is it's it's underneath here and it wouldn't, it's like right in the center, and it wouldn't actually be that bad to get to, except for it's really low to the ground. If they had just made this like an inch taller so that you could um, ma manipulate that valve with your hand, it wouldn't be an issue at all. Uh, what I do, that's heavy. Uh, it's not too bad. You can just rock it back, rest it against your arm, and operate the valve. But... I mean, it'd be easier if you didn't have to do that kind of business to get to the valve. Uh, a lot of people say they have a workaround where they uh, either relocate the valve or add something to it that makes it easier to operate, and I probably will end up doing that as well. When I first turned it on, I was immediately struck by actually how quiet this is. This is an ultra-quiet compressor, and uh, for something as big as this, as this is, you would think it would be like extraordinarily loud. And I mean, it's pretty loud on my phone. Uh, it measures 92 decibels, but it's actually, I think, quieter than the little tiny pancake compressor that I've been using for years, which is woefully inadequate for almost anything, I mean, basically at all. Okay, so this little guy right here is just a little Porter Cable pancake compressor. And what I've done is I've measured a spot equidistant between this compressor and the big 30 gallon Husky. And we're gonna do a little somewhat not totally scientific experience. Right, I have my phone on the floor right now and what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn on the pancake compressor and right now this phone is like six feet away from both units and we'll see what the difference in noise is. Alright, that's pancake and now for the 30 gallon that, that 30 gallon is so quiet. Okay, what I've done is I've drained this tank completely, and what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and hit start on my timer and start on this thing and see how long it takes to fill this up. Alright, 724 is actually probably closer to 715 because my phone had. Uh, the screen is shut down. I whipped back into it. It took me about 10 seconds to get back into it to hit the stop clock. But anyhow, right around 7 minutes, and I would probably say around 15 seconds to get up to the uh, 155 mark on this guy. So I actually have no idea if that's a, a good number or not. I'm just telling you that that's what this does. I will say, though, that I'm really surprised by how little this thing vibrates when it's operating. I mean it's just rock steady and it doesn't shake or anything. I'm really stunned by that. The cord on this thing is some beefy uh, 14 gauge cord so yeah, they meant to be pulling some amperage to that. My unit was shipped to me and uh, it took a little abuse from the carton on the way over so you can see the paint is scraped off right there and then down there it's scraped off too so if you have a store near you I think this unit is stocked at most of the Home Depots uh, go in there and take a look at one and, and you know maybe get one that isn't all beaten up if uh, taking one home by yourself isn't an option and it gets shipped to you 
uh, maybe just be ready to uh, hit it with a rattle can and uh, just you, know, you might have to spiff it up when it gets home.